Our top story today is the rain and overnight flooding. It's not just here in Corpus Christi, but throughout the coastal bend. And to help tell that story this morning, we have reporters live along the Crosstown Expressway out in Port Aransas and also on FM 2444 at the Oso Creek Bridge, which is above flood stage and continuing to rise. But first, we're going to have a quick look at the forecast so we can know what's going on with all this wet weather. Well, out there. we are seeing abundant tropical moisture here in the coastal bend. Let's take a live look outside with our sky cam. It hasn't been too bad right here in the city of Corpus Christi. Parts of the south side and out toward the island saw some very heavy rainfall this morning. Now as far as the flash flood watch, we still have a flash flood watch in effect for the entire south Texas area and that's through at least this evening and then likely going to be extended for the western brush country through Sunday morning as that heavy rain starts to shift off to the west. Now we do have coastal uh, flood advisory urban and small stream advisories for all of the areas right along the coast. Been seeing some very heavy rain over in the Rockport area and you can see that as we check in on the radar picture. It's definitely been lighting up. Not a whole lot right here in the city at this hour, but areas like Port Aransas and Rockport seeing some very heavy rainfall this morning. Did see some that moved through the Bayside area and a big, big swath of rain also right in between Sinton and Skidmore and you can see that extends all the way up to Beeville. So it's very spotty, but those areas seeing the rain have been picking up one to two inches of rain. But the real bullseye right here, as I mentioned, in Port Aransas, some of these areas picking up between three and a half to four, four and a half inches of rain, and that is causing quite a bit of flooding there. Not quite as much over in the Portland Gregory areas, but some areas picking up an inch and a half to close to two inches of rain and some spotty inland areas. These the other regions are going to see more rain as we move throughout the day, close to three inches of rain near Premont. So we're just beginning with this. The flash flood potential continues through at least early evening. We'll talk more about this. Your full forecast coming up in just a few minutes.